what's up everybody welcome back to a brand new episode uh this one d make no mistake <laughs> this one is episode 37 um yeah i had a little issue in the last uh <laughs> in the last recording basically what happened was is uh, well in the title i had episode 37 in the thumbnail I had episode 36, and and then in the description I had episode 35, so just in case you were a little confused, um, yeah, today's episode, uh, today's episode 37. <laughs> but yeah, today, today is a very exciting day, I'll, I'll let you guys in on the secret, we're building an awesome, uh, brewing room, but the first things first, you guys were also saying something, uh, that could potentially make the, the new build a lot better, so I want to try something real quick, and it has to do with this, so in the last episode, we set this up where, uh, we stand on this pressure plate, we hit the button, the water goes out, and then we can go ahead, do that, and, uh, the water, well, I, I did that in the wrong order, but you get the picture, the water's supposed to go in the hole, however, Someone was giving me a little bit of a tip, and I want to see if it works. So I was told that if I have, um, oh, this is going to be kind of difficult. If I have a comparator behind this, it would click twice really fast. Oh, okay, maybe that doesn't work. Maybe that doesn't work. Well, if there's, I, I got to figure out, could there be a way to have this button do like two pulses really fast so the water just goes in and out without even spilling over? Um, oh, oh, okay, well that almost did it, I think it clicks one too many times, yeah, okay, it clicks one too many times, I gotta figure this out, um, I don't know if this is gonna work or not, yeah, okay, I, I gotta keep experimenting with, but if, you, but if you have any ideas to help me out, um, I would appreciate it, but yeah, that's that, so I'm gonna keep working on that, keep, keep trying to improve my redstone, um, but yeah, that is, uh, that's that, so I, I guess let's head on over uh, to the base and check out the to-do list. So like I already teased, today we are gonna be building ourselves a brewing area. It, it, it's something you guys have wanted to see for a while and a whole bunch of people commented about it. So today is gonna be the day. I wanna build the room itself, then I wanna hook it up with redstone, I wanna name all the ingredients in an anvil, and then finally, I wanna brew some potions, so... Uh, yeah, that's the day today. So today, uh, we're actually gonna be going outside of the ravine. And we have been down here a lot recently, so it's gonna feel good to get outside and explore a little bit. Um, but yeah, I, I think the brewing area, there's no other place to put it than, than the, than the tower. I mean, come on, it's a, it's a witch's tower. Uh, there's, you got it. You gotta have your brewing stand, or your brewing station in the tower. It's, it's, it's a must. But for, for the brewing room that I want, I, there's no way I could fit it up there. So we are gonna be putting it in the basement, and I have already cleared out a little bit of an area, and and started planning. So this is going to be uh, the potion brewing room. I can give you a little tour of what, of what's gonna happen. So uh, I'm gonna have all the ingredients laid out here, and, and based. Basically, it's going to be fully automatic, so I just click a button, and then the ingredients uh, start to brew, and then I get my potions uh, without really having to work that much. And then over here, I'm going to have a little uh, water source that I can grab from, and then this is where I'm going to keep extra blaze powder uh, to keep the brewing stand stocked. So... This is the room, and then out here, I'm thinking maybe I could just turn this into storage where I can have a whole bunch of potions in here. Uh, I gotta fix how it all looks, but I, I guess that could be the case. And then if you guys have not uh, been following the series for very long, this is actually a, a secret tunnel here. Let me go down here. And once you come down here, uh, this will actually kick you out right by the storage room uh, if you go up those steps. But I don't want to do that right now. I want to get started on the brewing area. Yeah, this is a... Uh... <laughs> this is a long ladder. This is why I usually don't go up this way. <laughs> this takes forever. But yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. I've got a few of the things that I'm, that I'm gonna end up needing here. I got some hoppers, some dispensers, a little bit of redstone, and some chests. So why don't we just uh, start throwing some of this together? Starting with the, uh, the dispensers. So the dispensers... Oh, they're actually going to go up where, where the item frames are, and they're going to be faced backwards. So this 
This might be this this might be painful, but I, I'm gonna have to go back here first. And and if you're wondering why I, I set up the item frames, it's because I I wanted to have the room completely filled, so I I needed to make sure I had all the ingredients. And I'm pretty sure this is all the stuff you can brew with. I might be wrong. Uh, I do have one extra spot here, so if I'm missing something, uh, j just let me know, and I can always uh, put it there. And then if I'm missing a few things, I guess I could make the room bigger. But um yeah, I just need to know the size I needed to make it so that's why everything's already up here but since I know that this is the right size I can take all that down and we can get started with the actual construction so the way this is gonna work you just gotta go ahead and throw all these dispensers backwards might not make sense right now just believe and for those of you that have been watching the channel for a while now, you might recognize this. This is kind of similar. Uh, well, it will be kind of similar to the one that I made in a, in a in a Let's Play series way back in the day. Um, and I think it's the best. I, I still have yet to see a brewing station I like more. It's, it's just very easy to use. You see what ingredient you want. You click a button and it starts brewing. You, got, you guys will see how it works. So basically, uh, these are dispensers that I'm going to fill up with... Uh, uh, with ingredients, so uh, I only have one of each right now for for the item frames, but I, I would fill them up and then right behind this I guess well, I don't know what what uh, what block do I want to use? Will this look good? I, I think it will yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's fine So I'll use that and then you won't really even be able to see it because on top of these I'm gonna have uh, the item frames that just tell me which uh, which dispenser is which so now I got to go through and put all the ingredients back in. So I'll go ahead and do this with the sides as well, and then we can go from there. And there we are. Okay, so that's uh, that's that part done. I guess we're good on that end. Uh, so now what I gotta do is I gotta hook up all of these um, all to, to hoppers, and and basically all you gotta do is just string them all together. It it, it you need a lot. You need you need a ton of hoppers. Oh, I should uh, I should go back here first. So they all need to go uh, to to this block right there. And I think if they just go down, that should be good. And then everything needs to connect to that. Yeah. Okay. So I gotta wrap this around, and I really hope I have enough. I really don't want to go get more. Yeah, okay, that'll do it. That will do it. So, uh, now to test this, uh, to make sure it works, I can quickly just go ahead, throw, uh, throw a little torch in here, and then if I hit the button, it should leave, and then it should head all the way over to this hopper. Might, might take a second. Uh-oh. Um... Huh. <laughs> Maybe I didn't connect them all properly. Let me go back and take a peek. Okay, it looked like it was getting stuck in the block. So let me try uh, Let me try doing that, just covering it, to make sure it actually uh, goes into the hopper so I could throw some dirt in now. Oh, I don't want to do that much. Let me just do two. Uh, and then hit it once. It should only take one. Yeah, it only takes one. Um, and there we go. There's two. So is that going to work? Yeah, okay. I, the issue seems to be... They just fall out, and they're, um, yeah, they're just floating right in there. So they're not actually getting put into the hopper. Well, what if I, what if I put the hopper one lower? Does that, does that fix it? So if I have the hopper down here, um, and then I throw something? Oh, okay, this is, <laughs> gotta run back around, don't I? So now I hit the button, and now we can take a peek and see. So did that work? Yeah, okay, it's in the hopper, so I guess it just gotta be one lower. That is a shame. That's a shame. Um, alright, well, I gotta go redo all of this now. <laughs> so let me break all these, and, uh, I'll be right back. They just need to be one lower, I guess. And that ought to do it there. Okay, so now, now this should be working, and I will give it- ooh, Oh, I can't get in this way. How did I do that last time? What- how did I- oh. Oh, because I could walk under it. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's go ahead and give it one last test. This should this should definitely work, and it should go fairly fast, much faster than it was before. It should be here any second. 
Come on. Yeah, there it is. Okay, okay. So it, it works. It works now. Um, so that's all I needed to test out. Now, I, I think we're just about ready to get started here. I'm going to throw some of the scraps uh, scraps in here, and then we can move on to the next stage. And I guess the first thing that I'm going to do really quick is just uh, finish up the wall, just so it looks somewhat completed. I probably uh, will change that, or I might just have chests uh, down on each of these so that I can have extra ingredients uh, in case I have more than what actually goes into the dispenser so there's that uh, and now uh, I guess all I need is a little bit of a brewing stand <laughs> and then I'll put the brewing stand right there um, so let me go grab one of those and that should be that so now all the ingredients should go straight into the brewing stand the only thing that I'll need is it uh, is a water bottle system and maybe Okay, I, I didn't think about this. Where do I want to put the water bottles? Maybe I have a room back here, so uh, I might have to go around this for now. But if I come back here, I should be able to to find the brewing stand. So, uh, hello? Is it down here? Okay, that's the wood. Maybe, okay, it's right there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, I could just turn this into a little room, and uh, I could have a big old chest here where I keep a whole bunch of water bottles. The only thing I need to do now is uh, turn this room into a proper, a proper area, and then have, I guess, what could be just a chest right here. Um, maybe turn that into a double chest, and then underneath... I can connect this to uh, the side of there. And now, if I put water bottles in here, I'm pretty sure what will happen is the water bottles will fill up into the side, and the only thing I need to do is keep the stock of, uh, of uh, what do you call it, blaze powder. And uh, I could just do that manually. Or, on second thought, I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking out loud here, I could, I could... I think I can. I think I could connect it to the back, and it should work the same. I do want to give this a test, though, so let me go ahead and uh, connect this up. I guess it would be, uh, oh, gotta get down a little bit. All right, let's test it. Um, so here, if I put a water bottle into here, it might be in the brewing stand. <laughs> um, and then if I put a blaze powder in there, hopefully uh, that gets sent to the brewing stand as well. I really hope. And it did. It did see the blaze powder. It's not showing up in the side because it's already inside of uh, the actual stand. And the water bottle's there as well. Perfect. So I could have a, a little door right here that leads to a small room where I have a chest full of water bottles that are ready to be brewed and a whole bunch of blaze powder. Uh, once I get a blaze farm, I'll have a whole bunch. So uh, that'll be good. And then I could just have a full stock of that. So all I ever need to do uh, is just take out the, the potions and they'll start brewing automatically and the stand will refill and all I have to do is press buttons this is gonna be good this is gonna be really good so I was gonna have this little area over here for extra blaze powder but that is no longer gonna be a problem so I can just ditch that plan right there uh, and I guess I could cover this all with some spruce wood just to make it look uh, a little bit a little bit better um, so, uh, we'll go ahead, cap that off, and over here, I, I still think I want this to be a water area, a and the way I'm gonna do this is, is kinda cool, I wanna use a little bit of redstone, um, but before I actually get the redstone down, I wanna, I wanna finish the room and make the room look nice, so let me go ahead, uh, and try to, try to make this room look a little bit more interesting than just a plain four, uh, dirt ceiling and all that. Um, so I'm gonna give it a crack and uh, see what I can come up with. All right, folks, I have, I might've done it. I might've done it. Let us take a peek inside. Not, not really much as, uh, n nothing really has changed. I added <laughs> some stripped birch logs. Uh, just to, I don't know, make the floor look a little bit more interesting. Uh, and then I added a ceiling with some uh, hidden lighting uh, behind some uh, trap doors. But uh, the main, the main part that I'm excited to show you is this back closet. Look at that. For a closet, it's not that bad. So uh, we got this area where uh, we've got uh, the chest that we're going to add add things into. And then we have the blaze powder and the water, which I will go ahead and fill up later. But I, I think that's it. I, I think everything 
everything is completed. This is a successful, uh, successful room. So it's already hooked up. Uh, we did the redstone. Now the whole room is decorated and uh, finished for the most part. The only thing that's left is this and uh and i don't think it's gonna be too bad i don't think it's gonna be too bad so what i want to do is set up a little system um where i have i think a pressure plate so let me go ahead and place that thing down uh we'll get it right there so what i want to what i want to have happen here is basically i want to have uh, a little area right here where i step on this pressure plate uh and then blocks get pulled back uh so I, I don't know how exactly I want to do this because the pressure plate I might need to get rid of this water here for a second let me just go ahead and uh, get rid of that because that's <laughs> that's probably gonna mess up my redstone so we're just going to go ahead and clear that up for now um okay so this would uh, be powered how can I get that over to there well first things first that needs to be this needs to be a full block so we'll do that and um and then, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. We'll need to get the redstone underneath. So let's go ahead and do that right there. And I think this might work. Yeah, so I can string it through there. Would probably want to block this off. I think I'm just going to coat all of this uh, all of this area down here with uh, just the spruce wood planks. Just to make it uh, kind of match everything else. We'll go ahead and put some here. And then uh, probably right there as well. And uh, right here. Here and there um, that should be good uh, and then I guess I can just break this open and I can climb out of here uh, for now but the redstone goes through here so, uh, so that works now the tricky part is I'm gonna need to do something I'm gonna need to have like a switch and I think I can do that by just using a, a redstone torch because I think the uh, the way I'm doing this I'm gonna need to have yeah I'm gonna need to have the piston on the whole time so that should work uh, maybe I should bring it back one further. Hold on just a second. Wait, no, that, uh, yeah, that works. That works right there. Okay, now, um, I, I gotta test the pressure plate theory, make sure this all works out. So if I step on this, yes, 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 it goes down. Uh, and then I guess I could put a, a, a block there. So, you see this? It's clear that if we come over here, we're getting some water. You just do that, and then you should be able to fill up just like that. Now, do I have, okay, I have this water bottle and, uh, and this one. I guess I could just do this really quick let me just fill up the water there we are and now I can take this and uh, throw that back in there not too bad at all okay so that's all set up um, this is all set up so the redstone's done we we already have all the hoppers uh, and now that's it so the redstone on this is completely done I'm gonna call the decoration for today I might make a few changes but uh, that is good as well so now all I really got to do is head back to, uh, to to the home base and stock this thing up a little bit. Oh, and I also have to get a whole bunch of... Uh, oh, did I just throw... Yeah, <laughs> that's not necessary. I, I need to go ahead and uh, get a whole bunch of chests down here. And I also am going to need trapped chests as well. Um, and then these are basically... Uh, I can't speak. I cannot speak. These are just going to be uh, ways for me to store extras. It, it, it might actually look a little too crowded. I don't know. Uh, I'll decide if I like that, but I'll have to go uh, grab those chests first. But I will meet you back at the base. Uh, and then I guess we're just gonna bring all of our potion stuff over here because why not got a whole bunch of stuff in this chest And I guess I, I'm just gonna go ahead and toss all this extra stuff that I don't want to carry right now Just to make as much room as possible. Oh These are gonna be important too. need all those glass bottles now. I, I think I should have uh, I should have ingredients in one of these chests or are they all they might all be spread out Yeah, they might all be spread out it. Oh, yeah, I think they are Okay, this might take a while. All right, I got a good amount of uh, good amount of stuff. Definitely not everything, um, because I don't really have any extra rabbit's foots. I had to go grab that one to put in the item frame, and uh, I don't have any extra golden carrots or glistering melons. But I can make a whole bunch of those uh, in the next. Okay, hey there, guy. <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you. There are probably phantoms, aren't there? Not yet. 
I kind of want some to come out, though. I kind of like phantoms. Now that I know I can get that, uh, that phantom membrane, that stuff is, is pretty sweet. How did I miss that shot? All right, so, um, let's go ahead and get this started. I ha I have a whole bunch of blaze powder, so we'll throw all of our blaze powder, uh, in here. Or, not all of it, because there's a difference between putting the blaze powder in a potion and then using it to power, uh, the stuff. So, I think... I'll probably leave a good majority in here because I, I, I don't think I'm going to use too many blaze powder potions. What do they do? I think it's a strength potion. Might be. I don't know. One of the things I really want to do is label all these so I can just look at them and then it'll tell me what it'll make. That is another little cheat that I have. That's why I brought this anvil. So I'll do that in a second. But let me go ahead and throw uh, all, all these extra uh, bits and pieces into the dispenser. So I got some nether wart, uh, some extra spider eye, some glowstone, a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm going to throw this in and I will be right back with you. And if this is an infinite water source, can I just sit here? Oh, yeah, I can just go ahead and load up on those. Holy cow. And then I can throw them all into here as well. And you guys will be able to see uh, exactly what they do. So let me go ahead and put all of these inside of here. Oh, okay, no, they're going into the hoppers. That's fine. Uh, and then I want to go ahead and put two in there just to make that look all nice. And I uh, still got a little bit extra, so let me go ahead and fill up the rest of these water bottles. And that should be another uh, another little milestone. And there we are. So uh, a whole bunch of water bottles, and then all of the hoppers should... Yeah, they're filled as well. So um, that should be good if we take a peek in here. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of stuff, so I, I guess we can do a little test run. Why not? So I... Uh, oh, actually, before I do the test run, let me go ahead and, uh, and label all these. Well, I'm not going to do it all right now but for example let me go ahead and show you what I would do so this would not be called a nether wart this would be called the awkward potion I guess is what I'll call it um so now that I know uh, if I use that it's gonna make me an awkward potion makes sense makes sense so so I guess this one uh, just for another example I would rename it to uh, a potion of leaping uh, so let me go ahead and do that and then speed potion, and uh, you get the gist. You get the gist. So I'll just have all of these. Now, it is a little confusing because some of them, like fermented spider eyes, I think you have to combine with other ingredients. But for the most part, this is really helpful just to be able to look really quick and see, oh, oh yeah, that one's going to give me leaping. This one will give me speed. Th those are kind of easy to remember, but this one I have no idea. <laughs> and, uh, and the golden carrot, I think that's night vision. I really don't know what all of them are, so it helps out a bit. I won't waste your time doing all that now, but I'll get that done off camera with my 20 levels. And, uh, yeah, so I guess we can actually give it a go now. So we have water bottles and blaze powder in already. Let's go ahead and throw, uh, one of these inside, and that should work. There we are. There we are. So we should have three awkward potions. Then what do we want to make? What do we want to make? Magma cream? Um, speed? Do I have any sugar? I don't have any sugar. I don't have a sugar cane farm. Um, I do have sugar cane, though. I should have just broken some up and got sugar. We could do, uh, we could do one of these. I, I don't know what this potion will make, so we could use a gas tier and find out. These should be awkward. Yeah, they're awkward potions. And then I can throw, uh, a little bit of that in. We can watch it, make sure it gets all the way through. Come on. Oh, there it is. Perfect. All right, so uh, wait for that, and we can check out what this is. I actually don't know, so we'll find out in a second. And there it is. It turns out to be... Oh, regeneration. That's actually really... Oh. Oh, wait a second. It, it, why did it do that? Oh, did it get the one next to it? Oh, that's a little bit of a bummer. I didn't know that was going to happen. Does that happen every time? It didn't happen with uh, with the nether wart, right? It didn't put a didn't put a melon in there. Okay, that's interesting. I got to make sure that that's not happening every time. So um, now we have that. Why don't we put some redstone in there? And is that gonna okay? It put the glowstone in, so it's putting the one next to it. Oh, oh man, <laughs> I don't remember this happening. Um, I think there's a way to do that. I I think the way to fix it is just move this out one. I'm pretty sure. So I can move the button instead of having it on the dispenser to a block out. I think that works. So, yeah. Um, 
that's a shame. <laughs> I'll have to do that off camera. So if you're making this, just don't have the buttons on there directly. Uh, put the buttons out of block, and, and that won't happen. So, um, yeah, rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. But there, we have a Splash Potion of Regeneration 2, and then it <laughs> threw the redstone in as well. Yeah, so that's that's a little bit of an issue. Uh, I'll have to fix that, but it should work. And then, as you can tell, the water bottles automatically refill, and uh, it's that easy. It's that easy. Uh, I don't really need this potion, so I... Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I, I guess I could just throw it. Oh, and I think if you throw it on the wall, works even better. Can't really tell, though. Uh, but yeah, that... uh. That's the brewing room. I I'm feeling good about it. So that minor adjustment I got to make and then everything should be running smoothly. Got to add some extra chests and everything like that, but I'm running short on time. So I'll do that all off camera and I will show you guys what it's looking like uh, in the next episode. So that's basically it. Uh, I'll meet you guys down. Uh, you know what? Why don't I go this way? I'll meet you guys at the base in just a second and we can finish off the episode. So yeah, that was that was not a bad bit of progress there. We got a whole new brewing room done. I think in the next episode, we'll probably go on some kind of adventure because we've built a lot of stuff. Uh, in the past three episodes, we've built that auto smelting room, the nether portal room, and now uh, a brewing room. So I think we might we might do something a little more exciting, a little more adventurous in the next one. Um, So I don't know. Let me know what you guys want to see. Uh, let us go ahead and take a peek at the subscribers of the day. So here they are, Amazing Gamer, Hatim Sudani, Wilfred Ilan, and Abraham Ponce. I probably butchered those two middle names, but thank you guys. Uh, thank you for your comments. Uh, I really, I, I gotta say, uh, not only to them, but really to everybody reading through the comments um, it is so awesome. And I only pick out four per episode, but there are so many awesome ones. Uh, so please just uh, keep leaving them and, and eventually you'll make it on the wall if you haven't yet. But quick little shout out to those four. Thank you for your support. I... I think I'm just about done. So I will talk to you guys in the next episode. Gotta think of something fun, but um, I I'm pretty sure I'll be able to figure out something. So I'll talk to you then. Peace, guys. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. <laughs> All right, peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.